Welcome to my freshly gutted master bathroom. What's a good renovation series without one more week of demolition? This week's theme, throw it all away. Construction debris, gone. Outdated master bathroom, gone. And an area which I'm sure is going to spark some controversy, weirdly constructed floor to ceiling fireplace, gone. Well, halfway at least. We started off our last string of demolition this week with gutting our master bathroom. And Justin and they call him Johnny. Uh, Justin and Johnny are about ready to demo the master bathroom here. There's a sledgehammer in hand, so I think we're about ready to do some smashing. The master bathroom in general is going to be saved for last. Number one, we have another functional bathroom that we are able to use in the meantime. Number two, we really wanna change the overall layout. A lot of the other spaces, even though we are updating them, we kept the layout the same, like the kitchen, for example. In this master bathroom, however, we wanna do a lot of changes. We're thinking toilet is going to go here and be in a closet that the door will be here. Shower is going to go over in that corner and be bigger. And tub is going to be freestanding and smaller to give us more space for a shower, so. And especially because of the disappointments that we had with the fireplace, a wood-burning fireplace is something that Jonathan and I have both really wanted for a long time. We're not gonna have that here, unfortunately, at least for the time being. So another big wish list item for both of us for quite some time has been a soaking tub. We wanna do this bathroom right, and we also know that it's going to take time. So we're gonna put this aside for last and save it as the last part of our renovation. So I thought I'd get the last few moments of getting this tub out. It was fun. <laughs> Saying that, however, we knew that we still needed to gut it a while. We didn't want the chance of tearing up new walls and new floors and things like that. So we wanted to get some of the big things out like the tub that was in here before and the shower surround. And we also knew that we were going to be renting a dumpster. And so we wanted to get as much of the construction debris out into the garage and ready to be disposed of in the dumpster. The shower has left the building. So long. And that leads me to the dumpster rental and the process. If you're local to South Central PA, chuck it. And let me start out by saying that this video is not at all sponsored. I wanna give a genuine shout out to the folks at Chuck It. We had such a great experience with them from start to finish, from the initial phone call, just asking some questions to them coming out and delivering the dumpster very quickly, just the payment process, everything was great. We just had a dumpster dropped off this morning. And so the mission of the weekend is to fill this from all of this. We were able to utilize every last square inch of the space that we rented. We were able to get all of that trash out of our garage bay and into the dumpster. It feels so, so good to have that space in the garage back for other things other than just a huge pile of trash. Madison and Annie are working on taking stuff out to the dumpster. And I think she disappeared so that I can't film her. Where'd she go? <laughs> Get back here. This is one of my besties, Megan. And un Hi. unfortunately, when she volunteered for the first day, it was a gross day where we're getting rid of uh, cat pee soaked carpets. So sorry, Meg, but yeah. thank you for helping. <laughs> she likes it. She actually told me this is her favorite job she's ever had. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, a great, great experience. Except for when a yellow jacket landed on the back of my head and stung me in the neck like three or four times as we were loading up the trash. Not sure if you'll be able to see that in the time lapse because it goes quickly, but if you look carefully, you may be able to see me like hit the floor <laughs> and call for Jonathan.
And now to the decision that we are sure some of you are going to question, removing half of the stone from the fireplace. Start anything yet? Hold oh, on. Geez. I got to I got to well, There's a screw there and there. So those screws are what's holding that rock to my wall. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'll leave those in. From day one, when we walked into this house, the fireplace facade gave me pause for some reason. I could never really pinpoint what the reason was or put my finger on why it just felt off to me, but there was some sense of it being like unfinished. Maybe that was because the stone did not go entirely to the ceiling. There was a little bit of a gap there, or maybe it was because the stone itself always looked kind of faux to me. And we actually did find out in taking the stone down that it is not real, it's actually forms. But there was just something about it that although I liked it a lot, I didn't love. So after Jonathan and I got the stinky news that the fireplace was not functional and that we wouldn't be able to use it for burning, we started to put our brains together and just think of how we could improve the overall look and make it feel more like us. So my best friend Kelly and her husband Brian are here today and Brian is hiding back there. He is kind of our go-to wood guy. Called them out here to take a look at the mantle. Yes, the fireplace is not functional and so that stinks, but we just decided that we're gonna go more of a decorative route right now. So we were having them take a look at their thoughts with the mantle and maybe building a box around it, which morphed into quite a different plan. And now, as you can see back there, Jonathan is going to start taking some of the stone down. Just because it was kind of installed weird in the first place, we're gonna keep the stone, hopefully, on the bottom under the mantle, build the mantle up, and take the stone off of the top and maybe replace that out with some shiplap. So we're gonna let uh, Jonathan start whacking here and see if he can get some of these down, and this plan might not be a good one. The mantle that's on the fireplace right now is very shallow. We don't like the placement as far as the height. We wanted to kind of bulk it up a little bit. So we called Brian over. Brian owns his own sawmill and is a very skilled woodworker. So we knew that if we wanted to have this mantle done correctly and really be beautiful and our style, that Brian would be the person that we would want to do it for us. Whoa. Good thing we don't have the new floors down yet because Jonathan is currently breaking things. Oh my word. <laughs> As you can see from my facial, I am back at the sanding business. Yes, I am wearing swimming goggles because I found that the other goggles were not keeping the dust out. A little update on Jonathan's progress back here. He's almost there. And spoiler alert, but Brian actually finished the box today. He sent us pictures and it is awesome. So I cannot wait for you guys to see it in a couple of weeks. I know that there is, you know, a desirable feature to have a floor to ceiling fireplace, but in my opinion, that's more fitting when you have exaggerated ceiling height, when you have, you know, cathedral ceilings or vaulted ceilings. And we don't have that here. We have just standard height ceilings. So I didn't feel like it was something that was necessary or really adding to the overall overall appearance of the fireplace. I already like the look of it so much better. We ended up taking the, uh, the top portion of the fireplace down and we just got it off, finally. This week obviously focused heavily on words like trash and mess. Oftentimes those are not words that we look on very favorably. We hide our trash, we hide our messes. We put on pretty faces and pretend like everything's okay. One huge thing that I have learned throughout this whole process is that it's okay to let people in when your life doesn't look perfect and when your life is a mess. My house is the furthest thing right now from put together. My kids have been living off of things like pizza, Easy Mac, individually packed snacks, and loads of other processed crap for months now. Most of the times that you see me, I haven't showered for days. And you know what? All of that is okay. If I shut people out and keep people away until my life is put back together, 
then I wouldn't experience life <laughs> with the people that matter to me for a really, really long time. It is hard to go through big transitions in life alone. And even when things look messy and feel messy and are messy, it's important to realize the ability that other people have to help you along in your journey. Every week is bringing us closer to completion on this project. Every week is bringing us closer to calling this place our home full time and moving out of my sister's basement. So might I be showing up at my kid's homeschool co-op unshowered, or might I be dropping them off for dance class, having sawdust all over myself? Yes, but it's a season and it's okay. I don't think it's a surprise to anyone that Arlo does not like warm weather. Oh, you little... Mm. I wanted to come out here because he had his little sniffy sticking through the gate and it was so cute. So there's a lot of cool air right now and Arlo loves when there's cool air so let's see if I can get his little sniffer. <laughs> his little boober sticking for him. Popper. <laughs> so cute. Jonathan, the kids, and I continue to be excited and humbled when co-workers and friends and family members are texting us or calling us or talking to us face to face and telling us that they're following along with our videos. We are really, really glad that you're here. If you have not already subscribed, I would ask that you please just go ahead and click that button. It's a simple and quick and easy thing to do. It helps us immensely in being able to put out more videos and it will also allow you to be updated when a new video is released. We hope that all of you are having a wonderful transition to the fall season, that you are enjoying all the fall things, and we will see you next week.